this is a Freelander, the baby of all Land Rovers, and it's broken, like most Land Rovers, but it's a quick fix and well within my limited capability to repair it. And engine mounting has come loose, allowing the motor to slump over to one side, and this creates a bit of extra vibration. It needs to be fixed quickly, however, as it's up for sale and soon to be replaced with an older brother, more suited to farm life. Now, I've been romantically involved with Land Rovers for years, and I even took one across the entire length of Africa a few years ago, but that's a story for another time. Right now, it's time to get this repaired and fulfill a childhood dream of owning a Series 3 pickup truck. I have found one, uh, but it's about a six hour drive away, so maybe the next time you see me I'll be getting ready to head down to Neisner to collect this uh, pickup truck. This place is like a little piece of farm stall heaven. Right, so the best thing to get from here, in my opinion anyway, are these, which are date squares, so good. And in South Africa you get a thing called a rooster cook, which is basically like a bread that they cooked on the fire and this one is just plain buttery goodness best breakfast ever so I'm heading down to Neisner to get one of these a real one obviously but this is a toy that I had from a kid a series 3 109 Land Rover pickup truck. So I'm going to go and get the real thing today. Very exciting. Can't wait. I'm going to hit the road. Oh yeah. This is uh, literally a dream come true, so I'm super stoked. It looks very clean. So I pretend to know what I'm looking for while basically looking under the car a few times and moving anything that moves. Knowing full well I'm totally smitten and would buy this truck even if the engine fell out on the test drive. You see, Land Rovers infect you with their character. It's a sickness that many men fall ill to and never recover from. Just waiting for the guy to arrive. I think I beat him here. I'm going to start it up and see how, how the old boy goes. So, no surprises. I bought it, but I wasn't prepared to drive it home and the plan was to stick it on this contraption called a Moby Jack and tow it back to the farm. This is quite a story. I'm pretty nervous to tow this thing six hour drive all the way back. I hate trailers. I really hate trailers. Ugh, nightmare. But once we get it to the farm, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, well it's on the back there. More stress I've never known. Might be able to see it there. My six hour journey is going to be about eight or nine hours. So 
the weather got a bit much last night and I actually decided to pull in and stay overnight with a friend of mine in Jeffreys Bay on the way through home so now I've got to load this thing up again and head for home so that's this morning's job That was a bit sketchy, we're gonna try and save a spot. So tell me, what do you think? I think it's awesome. I just want to hug it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the main charms of these old series Land Rovers is that it looks like a car a kid would draw if you asked them to imagine a pickup truck. It's simple, it's mechanical, it's so full of history and it oozes charm out of every uneven panel gap. I work pretty well, a little well. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? A little well. Mommy, yeah. first they were stuck. And when? Oh no. And then they worked. And then I snacked. <laughs> so you may have noticed a whole bunch of vinyl stickering from the previous owner obviously used this vehicle to promote Red Bridge Brewing Company down in Nysna, South Africa. It's not that I don't want to promote them, I just want my own truck and I like a nice clean, clean looking truck. My last job before the end of this video is to remove the vinyl stickering and remove the sort of gluey residue. So I'm going to get a little time lapse going and uh, hopefully this thing's going to look completely different in just a few minutes time. cramping like crazy doing this all the time and then you peel a little bit and it snaps off and you peel a little bit and it snaps off and then you peel and it like takes a piece of paint off I've got the whole other side of the car to do as well <sighs> I think I'm gonna leave it there for now and and maybe show you once it's finished I think you've seen enough of this torture I'm going to find a nice spot, a nice scenic spot to take a picture of this car. So it took me about a week to get all the stickers off, but here it is in all its glory and I'm so stoked with it. I can't wait for it to be a character on this YouTube channel and uh, I couldn't think of a more scenic spot to, to show to you than this. This is one of the highest parts of the farm with the best view. Love it up here. Why do us Landy enthusiasts love these trucks so much? They have personality like no other vehicle. Charm and character in spades. And they were designed by real working men who placed function over form and just wanted to get on with the job. I guess I feel some kind of connection to them as they embody hard work and adventure. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.